Hi, this is James Hardiman here. This is a short video I've put together to help people understand the concept of WikiHouse. Uh, if you're here, you've probably already seen the video of Alistair Parvin talking about WikiHouse and some other videos. Uh, but a lot of people don't really quite understand uh, what it would be like to see a WikiHouse um, building. Uh, and also how Google SketchUp works, or Trimble SketchUp as it now is. So this is a model of a WikiHouse construction method shed um, and I'm showing you this actually using Google SketchUp this is the sorry Trimble SketchUp model uh, I downloaded this from wikihouse.cc uh, if you go there and look at uh, the, the library this is a shed called Eric's shed or Eric S's shed modified by me to make just for the purposes of this video and uh, one of the things I've done is put some external cladding on it uh, just to give you a, a better idea of what it would actually look like if it was a real shed. One of the things that SketchUp gives us is the ability to put things on different layers and by just deselecting the layers we can take the cladding off and we can also take the corrugated roof off and what we now see, everything that we now see in this shed has been cut on a CNC machine out of uh, 8 by 4 sheet or 2400 by 1220 uh, sheet of ply 18 mil or 3 quarters of an inch thick. This was American so this is probably 3 quarters of an inch and 8 by 4. So <clears throat> what we're seeing here are the external panels and if we go inside here and have a look around we will see the internal panels and we'll also see but there's nothing on the underside of the roof. Uh, this is a shed that's going to be pretty cold in winter. It's got no insulation in it, but you'll see how that could be done. So let's just take off the roof uh, and we then see, begin to see the kind of the skeleton structure. Let's take off the exterior panels and the outer end panels. And now even more, we begin to see the structure here which is these frames which kind of make up the skeleton. Uh, the frames are linked together in a certain way and then the panels are put on the outside and the inside and you can see we could use the space between the outside and the inside panels for insulation if we so wanted. Let's take the interior panels off and the only panels we've got left now are the floor panels so let's take those out as well. And now what we see is the skeleton structure of the whole thing. And using SketchUp, what we've got here is two components, two major components. This one, which is duplicated. So this is kind of the end module of the whole thing. And this one, which is the center module of the whole thing. And we could make our shed as long as we like by just having more center modules and putting them one after the other. Uh, and there is some structure on the outside here which you see kind of in wood color as opposed to the garish colors on either end to uh, help us make doorways and so forth. Let's go further into this end module. Uh, actually what I want to do is to go here. And here we see um, the absolute basis of WikiHouse construction, which are these frames which are made up of a number of pieces of plywood. If we go in close, we'll see actually each of these is two frames back to back connected together. And because we couldn't cut this whole shape out of an 8x4, because it's much bigger than 8x4, what we've got is a number of pieces. And if we come in closer here, Let's go right down. Um, there is one piece that's been cut out and you can see it's been repeated across the model. And it is connected via this thing called an S joint. And the S joint is held together by these little C shaped pieces of ply which have a wedge between them. And what's happening here is we see that when this blue piece is linked together with this green piece and it's not the same 
commandments. <clears throat> when you look at the, the other side, uh, these are overlapping in such a way that they support one another. And the C shapes have gone through both of those pieces of ply and a wedge is put together. And hey presto, all this links together nicely into one of these shapes. And you make up a whole series of these shapes. And then what you do is you link them together with these connectors. Similar situation to before. What happens is there is a slot here and we put these main connectors through with a wedge. So we take one of these frames, which is two thicknesses, so that's actually 36 mil uh, thick. And we put these main connectors in and we can make up one of these frames and one of these frames and one of these frames and however many we need. And then we connect this module together with this module using these intermediate connectors. Same idea, tongues with slots and wedges in. And if we come down, we can see similar sort of thing uh, at the floor level. So this is an integral hole. And then once we've got those bits together, we can put in the floor panels and we see how all these little tongues that stick up on all these various frame pieces underneath stick through the holes in the floor panels and these interlock nicely. Again, if we come up, we'll see that the main connector is not in the same place here uh, as the secondary connector. And the secondary connector has got a, a red tab there and a green tab there on the main connectors. And we can see how the floor panel goes down and gives the whole thing extra structural rigidity. And then when we put the interior panels in, same sort of thing happens. We can look at all that quite closely. And we put in the exterior panels and the end panels. And there's our structure. It's still open underneath. Now we'll put on the roof panels and we'll put on the cladding and we'll put on the corrugated roof. And there's our shed. So that's a quick look at how WikiHouse goes. And if you take other WikiHouse models, they might not be exactly the same, but you'll get the same rough idea. So let's look at a really nice model. Uh, this is the garden studio and the WikiHouse people are actually not only design this and make the um, make all the plans available, but you can actually buy this as a kit. And uh, this takes a part in a rather different way than the Eric's shed, but it's pretty similar. If we go inside, we can see what it looks like. Let's put the windows back. Now that we're in, we can even put the cladding back. Oh, it's quite possible in SketchUp to back yourself out into the middle of a wall, which is what happened there. These rather funny shapes here are due to <clears throat> what you need to do on a CNC machine, which is a circular cutter to get actually a rectangle. It's called T-boning or dog boning. And this is a nice little garden cabin here with a bench that's also made of two levels of ply with a support that's made of two thicknesses of ply. And we can go around. Ah, I've gone outside again. And there is a PDF that you can download if you're interested in having one of these cabins. You could either <clears throat> make the whole thing yourself, uh, order up the ply and cut it with the plans uh, and the cutting files that exist. Or, as I've said, this is available as a kit. And you could even have a wood stove and uh, the deck. And because wiki stage, wiki houses are in fairly early stage, 
most of us are very excited to help put these up to get experience. So on-site assembly is available free for early adopters here. And you can see what it looks like. And you can download this PDF. So <clears throat> that's a very quick uh, introduction to how wiki houses are built and designed uh, and everything, well pretty much everything, happens out of 18 mil three quarter inch ply. Clearly the windows here are different and the cladding uh, is different. And if you build this yourself you could probably clad it with less ex expensive material uh, and I believe that this roof light here is triple glazed and you can make your own decision about whether you want to go to that level or not. So that's the end of uh, the first little video about WikiHouse. Uh, the next one will quickly uh, look at some of the other models that are available for download.